What's up everyone? Today I want to make a quick video talking about my expectations versus realities with Georgia Tech's online master's in computer science program, specifically with regards to the outcomes. As many of you guys know, I finished the program in May of 2023, so it has since been around four months at the time of making this video. I apologize for not posting any videos lately. As you can see, I recently moved, so I actually moved out of Atlanta, and because of that, I was just a bigger move and took longer to get everything set up. But I realized that more and more people are reaching out to me asking about the master's program and if I would recommend it, and I still do recommend it. I do think that it's important to kind of temper expectations and explain my outcomes and things that I kind of wish I considered going into it. A month or two ago, someone commented on one of the videos that I had posted after graduating saying, it seems like you didn't need the master's degree at all. I agree with that statement. It was very much more so of a nice to have than a necessity. Going into it, I already had a bachelor's degree in computer science and I already was working full time as a software engineer. So very much more of a nice to have to further my education at a low cost and kind of just explore other areas of computer science that I wasn't super well versed in. But by all means, I didn't feel that I needed to finish it or I needed to get the master's degree. So that's something to think about with uh, expectations and going into the master's degree. If you feel like you really need it to be a software engineer, I definitely don't think that's the case. Working with others in the machine learning space, I will say it does seem like it is more common for people to have higher education beyond just the bachelor's, but very much so not a necessity. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to point out that, yeah, I agree. I didn't need the master's. My life didn't drastically change after getting the master's. It was just a nice to have and it didn't break the bank and I'm glad I got it when I got it. For my second point, you're probably wondering what actually did change for me from finishing the master's. In short, nothing. I mean, yes, I do have more free time and I'm happier and less stressed out. Of course, I'm proud of my accomplishment. But career-wise, there's no sudden title change or pay raise for me just because I finished my master's. I don't want to sound salty about it because I kind of expected that. When you're doing a part-time master's, I feel like you're kind of expected and it's like more of a slow growth type thing because when I got hired on to my current job, they already knew that I was already almost done with the master's. So I don't think there was any significant increase in my value as an employee just because I have six more credit hours or something because I was basically hired on with only two classes left in the program. So for that reason, I'm not salty about it, but I just kind of want to temper expectations. Obviously, at some companies, you might be eligible for a sudden pay raise just because you have a master's degree or something. But in my case, I didn't get a promotion or something just because I got the master's degree. The third and final point I want to make is in regards to the machine learning specialization. Going into it, I thought that I might want to switch from a software engineering role into a data science role, but I totally overlooked the switching cost or opportunity cost in doing so. At this point, when I finished the master's degree, I had three years working full time as a software engineer, plus my three prior internships were all software engineering related. So if I were to switch from software engineering to a data scientist role, which I do think the machine learning specialization does set me up well for, or at least gives me the foundation for, I do think I could make that change if I really wanted to. However, when I do work on projects with real data scientists or data scientists that are full-time data scientists, I do get imposter syndrome. And I do feel like if I were to now switch from software engineering to a full-time data scientist role, it would be in my best interest to down level just so I could temper expectations. So for that reason, I think it's important to consider that if you're like me, where you already have been working full-time as a software engineer and are considering using this as an opportunity to switch to data scientist roles. I also wanna point out that at this point in time, 
there are plenty of masters in analytics programs and you can now get a masters in data science from plenty of places so if you specifically want to become a data scientist you might want to consider those options since in, in my experience it feels like the masters in computer science with the specialization means that i'm well i was already a software engineer but I am now a software engineer that can do some machine learning stuff, and I'm not like a data scientist that can do some software engineering stuff. Yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to make this video because I think it's been getting more and more popular and people have been reaching out to me especially lots of my peers that are also software engineers asking, you know, um, if I would recommend it and what specialization they should do. So just want to make this video and uh, check in. So I'll talk to you guys later and see you in the next video. Peace.